second reading. Be imitators of me as I am of Christ. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, whether you eat or drink, or whatever you do, do also to the glory of God. Give no offense to Jews or to Greeks or to the church of God. Just as I try to please all men in everything I do. Not seeking my own advantages, but that of many, that they may be saved. Be imitators of me as I am of Christ. The word of the Lord. has arisen among us, and God has visited his people. left him and he was made clean. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory Glory to you, o Lord. We are reading from the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 1, verses 40 to 45. At that time, a leper came to see Jesus, begging him and kneeling, said to him, If you will, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hands and touched him and said to him, I will be clean. And immediately the leprosy left him and he was made clean. And he sternly charged him and sent him away at once and said to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest and offer for your cleansing that what Moses commanded for a proof to the people. But he went out and began to talk freely about it and to spread the news so that Jesus could no longer openly enter a town but was out in the country. And people came to him from every quarter the gospel of our Lord. Praise, Praise to you, o Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. 
today, the readings of today set the, set the stage for the Lenten period. And it's about what we need to pay attention to, that which can remove us from the love that God has shown to each one of us. Sometimes we ask, what can take us away from the love of God? And St. Paul helps us to list them. Today, the same question comes in a completely different design. And I don't want us first to think about God and what can take away from him. I want us to ask, what is it that can make me not fit enough to fit in the company of my brothers and my sisters? Because that which can make me not acceptable in the company of my brothers and sisters, that is the area where I need my cleansing so that I can be incorporated. But before I am incorporated, there is something that I must do. I must deal with that which is removing me from my brothers and my sisters. And that is where we identify personally the areas that uh, we are actually not doing very well. When we enter into the Lenten period, on the 17th, to be precise, we are talking about three days from today. Today, Sunday, Monday, the second day, Tuesday, the third day. On Wednesday the 17th, we'll be entering into the Lenten period. That day will be the Ash Wednesday. On that day, as the ashes will be applied on us, there is something that will be told. Two statements. I want to imagine, come, 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 you young man. No, yes, 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 come, come. Yes, you. I'm imagining that I am uh, applying the ashes to this young Christian who doesn't seem to love God so much. Eh? But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, on Wednesday, we shall have these uh, Christians' ashes applied on them using either of the two formulas. One will be repent and believe in the gospel. Those are the first words we hear from the gospel of Mark. The second one will be, and always this is my best, only that is quite avoided <laughs> by a number of priests because it is not such a good statement because it reminds us of our death. And to dust you came from, and to dust you shall return. Those words are actually mentioned during the burial of a Christian. Kwa mavubi ulitoka. Na kwa mavubi utarudi. That statement will be very clear on Wednesday. But now, I want us to pay attention to the first statement because it is more proactive. Repent and believe in the gospel. That statement has a hidden message. So we need to ask, when I tell this young man, repent and believe in the gospel, what is he repenting from? That is the question. Thank you. And that is the question that we answered today. So today, we pay attention to that which can remove us 
from that which is um, the point of contact and connection between us and our master. And that which is keeping me away from my sister, that which is keeping me away from my brother, that is my leprosy. Mark does not want us to pay attention to the leprosy as a disease and as a social defect. I mean, uh, uh, as a, uh, uh, a physical defect. But Mark wants us to pay attention to that which can come to us and that can make us not to be properly positioned as brothers and sisters and to one another, that which can remove us uh -huh, from what we were called to from the beginning. On Sunday, if you can remember. We talked about knowing my purpose and knowing my mission. And I remember we said, and we can also remind ourselves today, a Christian who knows his or her purpose and the mission is never distracted. A person who knows his purpose and mission is never ever distracted. And I said, there will always be distractors in terms of persons, places, things, and times. But when we are well positioned and well enlightened, we cannot be distracted. So we need to move from that to our today's reflection. Then we ask, what is it that can remove me from that which makes me part of the community? So that on Wednesday, I will know, I have been told, repent. What will I be repenting from? In fact, today's Mass is preparing us to identify gray areas where I would want to invite my Lord to come and be. Now, on this, I want to offer a demonstration. So I want to request a few people to come here, to come just here. Peter, come. Caesar, could you kindly start there on this pillar? Peter, you go to the other pillar. Come, come, please come, please come. Uh, come here. Where is that? Uh, okay. Uh, there they are. Where is there they are? Come, 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 come. Yes, you. Please come. Uh, Madam, come. You. The second one. In a car, you move to a fupi. Kuja, pianist. Pianist Kuja, Mufugue was subgroup. So I'm up was a good one. I'm left. How and as a Fugua was subgroup. Sasa. Now, I want to make a demonstration so that we can understand what it means to have leprosy and why Mark wants us to discuss something that is not just leprosy. So I want us to imagine that I am. I am your priest, and being your priest, you need a healing, pro, a healing purpose where you need to be incorporated. Now, here I have a bell. Long, long time ago, when lepers realized that they have diseases, something happened to them. Because leprosy was a disease that removed them from their brothers and sisters. So we are just imagining that the four Christians are, uh, they have leprosy. Okay? And then what used to happen? 
I am the high priest. And this is the temple. This is what used to happen. When people had leprosy, they would be called to the, to the temple. Come, just go there. Face me, sister. Okay, face me, face me, face me, like that. Now, these people have leprosy. I am calling them because I want to dismiss them from us because they do not need to be part of us. When they go, this is what used to happen. When a leper was invited by the high priest, I am the high priest, they would be called to the temple and then at the feet of the sanctuary, this is the sanctuary, from here, from this first step, going up here, all this is the sanctuary, okay? All these. At the foot of the sanctuary, they will start there. They cannot come on top here because they are not persons. Are you getting it? They are not persons. So they have to be there. And when they are there, as their high priest, I will celebrate funeral mass for them. It is as if they are dead. I celebrate a funeral service for them, and then I release them because they are dead. I want to release them. But there we have, we have got Jesus is there on one side. We have another Jesus on the other side. So when they go there, two of them will go to Jesus for healing. And two others will go to Jesus for healing. They will go there and kneel and ask to be healed. So when you go to Jesus, kneel and ask for healing. Are you listening? Yes. But something will happen. When Jesus heals them, he will send them to the priest. Hello? God is good. <laughs> But they'll come then, I incorporate them, then they go back to the community. I want to demonstrate this because I want our Christians to understand what used to happen and what leprosy-like situations can do to us. When they have been declared useless and dead, they will go ringing bells like that. Any Christian who would go ringing bells like that, it means that he has leprosy, she has leprosy, she has leprosy, he has leprosy. Everybody would run away. Now, let us demonstrate something. Can I have three people on this row and three on this row? Simameni, muzimame hapa, watutatu hapa, watutatu hapa. Yeah, like that. Watatu either side, the other watatu either side. Three, 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 three. Simuamuke, Jesus Christ. Nani yali uba hawa? Haya. Asanti. Three, three. Sasa, nataka mukisikia, mukiona watu wakipitia kwenye wakipiga kegere hivi, nataka mpote. Teke, teke. Because watu wako na ukoma wanapita. Run away from them. Lakini njini mukieda mukifika pare, muona yesu pare, kuna ka yesu pare, ka yesu kafupi kama njini. Kuna ka yesu kegide pare, muenda kwa uto tu yesu. When you go to Jesus, go and kneel down. Tell Jesus, please heal us. Jesus will heal you. And Jesus will send you to me. So you will come just here to me, with the sadaka and tithe, okay? Mimi ni wada ma priest. Wada wase, okay? 
So, <laughs> so because you seem like, to, uh, like we are the prefect, so <laughs> prefect of our WhatsApp group. Sasa, ni admin. Sasa, is all the way admin, and I'll keep a kekere. Okay, okay. Sasa, ni agarieni. Nataka sasa ni watume, ni mesema sasa, they have got leprosy. And I have declared them dead. Kutoka hapo kujini nipele kidogo? Like that. Mkipiduka hivo, mwanze kupiga kegere mkire. Upiga kwa guvwe na masaik. Masaiki gine ya kukufa, eh? <laughs> Nini mkizikia kegere? Aki, please run for your dear life. Other is mutakufa afternoon. <laughs> Are you communicating? So I want you to do this. But as you move, mukieda hivi, nyinyi wawiri, mutaona yesu pare, yesu atakuwa akiwaita. Okay? That is your Jesus. Muna muona? Haya. Nyinyi, yesu yenyu die yule. Mwende kwa huyo yesu. Mugivika kwa yesu, muna piga magoti. Muna muabia yesu. Padre wetu ametufukuza, ametufajia ibada ya mazishi. Aha. <laughs> It is at that point Jesus who said you to the priest mwenye aliwatuma murudi. Then from there we move forward. Now I want to declare the four lepers unsuitable for the community. Sasa mutaeda mukipiga kegere na mukisema we are lepers. We are lepers. Hebu semeni hivyo. We are lepers. We are Sementena? We are lepers. Uh -huh. We are lepers. Uh -huh. We are lepers. Exactly. Namita kuwa WhatsApp group. Sasa. <laughs> Arafu mwenye mwenye yako na kegele na pika kegele na masaiki ya lepers na WhatsApp group admin. Haya. Asanti. Sasa now, I now declare you unfit to be in this community. Go. Now the lepers have met Jesus. They have been sent to the priest. I am here. I am waiting for the lepers. Now they are healed. They must come to me because I am the person who declared them unfit. And now when they come, I now remove the bell from them because they have been now been needed human beings. And now I set them feet and I ask them, go and join the community. Please, community, come back. Watu enyu wameponywa, wame rudini, na murete tithing, na sadaka. Thank you. Murete fugula kumi, na matega, eh? Na murete sud. Now, I love that. You know, what I have demonstrated to you is exactly what used to happen them the days. But today, I don't want us to go to those days. I want us to ask, as Christians of the 21st century, what can remove us from our brothers and sisters? And I want to share with you some seven leprosies. Seven leprosies. Ukoma marasaba. Aina za ukoma marasaba. Seven leprosies that can remove us. Now, when we'll be told repent, maybe it is one of the leprosies. I'll be being be told on when, Ash Wednesday, repent and believe in the gospel. When I believe in the gospel, I'll be able to go back to my people 
And I will say like Jesus on last Sunday, let us go to the other side, because even unto them I was sent to preach the gospel. Leprosy number one, that can remove us from the love of our people and church and God is work. Work can be leprosy number one. We are so married and dedicated to our work to the extent our family and church and God does not matter. Leprosy number one. Leprosy number two, relationships. Aha. Uh -huh. Relationships. Now, I'll tell you two things. Uh, this, both of them happened in 2014. Those of you who know Father CK, for the last about uh, 13 years, yeah, for the last 13 years, I have been sending messages of encouragement and spiritual nourishment. Before 13 years, before then, I used to send an SMS. Then I continued sending SMS and WhatsApp. Then adding SMS, WhatsApp, and Facebook, sending to individual people. So if you don't receive Father CK's devotion, you have my, my number is there. Ask me, I'll be sending to you. But two things happened from two gracious ladies. One is a lady who had, who had just gotten married. And I had known them in person. But because she's the one who was on, on my mailing list, she used to, to receive my morning devotions on Saturday. And uh, as she listened to the devotion, the husband was not very comfortable. So remember these are the people I had known as, as Fred. And I remember one day she called me, Father, can I talk to you? By then I was working in Nairobi with and for the bishops. And she told me, Father, can I talk to you? I told her, yes, you can. Now, I don't know how I, I'm going to tell you this, because my husband is not comfortable with me receiving your devotions. So I asked her, my dear, what do you want? <laughs> she told me, please, Father, block me. Because I want my marriage. My husband is not comfortable with the devotions. This guy is not an atheist. This guy is not a pagan. This guy is not a protestant. So the husband is a Catholic. And the girl is a Catholic. And the husband had a problem receiving devotions from a Catholic priest who officiated their wedding and who baptized both of them, confirmed them, other things. Why? Because they had their own issues. The gentleman later I realized that he had issues. Historically, he had issues with the Catholic priests. Are we communicating? This is a girl who is in a relationship with a man who is uncomfortable uh, with those devotions. The second one is, is almost the same because it's a girl who had a boyfriend. Now, in this case, the boyfriend is uh, an atheist. You know who an atheist is, eh? An atheist does not believe in anything. A pagan believes in something that's not popularly known. So the girl told me that, Father, eh, I have a boyfriend. And this boyfriend loves me. And this boyfriend eh, hates anything God and church. This girl is a European. And I had known her because I had been associating or teaching some uh, students from some universities in, in, in Europe. So she told me that, Father, I want to keep my relationship. But this man is so uncomfortable with anything church and God. And I asked her again, my dear, what do I do to you? And she told me, Father, please block me. If you block me, I will not receive anything from you. If I need, if we will need any assistance later, me and my husband then, because I believe he will be my, my husband. I told her that I'll pray for you, that your boyfriend becomes your husband. And I blocked her. We are talking about 2014. Six 
years down the line, last year, 2020, I received a message. And because I deal with the people from 129 countries, today if you call me, I know this number is coming from where. So I saw a number, I knew this number is coming from this country. I picked, though it was a bit odd hours. And the guy talked. This and this, he introduced himself, yeah, like that, you know. In 2019, I had traveled to, to some country in Europe. And I think they were there on, for holiday, where Pope was. And I think somehow, 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 somehow. So, told me that uh, I remember, you know, this is, you have been a blessing to our family. I hadn't known him, I didn't even know who he was. Uh, so, uh, we have been following you from this and this, he explained, and then we reconnected him now and the, and the wife now, and their two kids. We reconnected later. The other couple we have never reconnected, but they are still allowed. Na wako hai, hawajakufa, na hata kufa by the way. Wataishi miyaka na mikaka. Now, I'm talking about two relationships that were anti-God. Either anti-God, either anti-church, either anti-Catholic church, or anti-clergy, whatever it was. But I'm talking of, of a relationship that takes away from, you away from God. The other day, a lady called me, told me, Father, please pray for me. My husband is so unhappy when I am going to church. I don't have to pray for you. What's happening? Because my husband has entered into this and this and that. I don't have to pray for you. We can enter into relationships that removes us from God, from others, from the family, from church, from everybody. That is your leprosy. Number three, money. Money can be our leprosy. It has re removed us from God, from others, from church, from family, from everybody. Money can ostracize you. It can be your leprosy. Number four, fear and discouragement. Fear and discouragement. I remember. Again, I'm, I give examples on the marriage front because that is what I do on everyday basis. A lady calls me and tells me that, Father, I have been in this, um, I have been dating for the last three and a half years. My feeling is that uh, this husband is not my type. Listen, eh? When you going to go to red, he's in here. <laughs> I don't know why you should be in a relationship with a man who is you're not your type. And you are not there at a gunny point. Haujaroa kuwa pale unatuzugusha hapa ni obe the man I have, the man in my life is not my type find your type please leo ni valentine don't be taken out by a man or a woman who is not your type if you cannot find a woman who is your type be taken out by your mother she is your type Allah men you have had our gracious ladies, if you have not found a man who is your type, kuna tuzuguja tu hapa na tuguo tuwa red, nataka man of my type, kama hujapata, be taken out by your father. If you can't, your father is in heaven. Akupereke. Take yourself out with a Bible and a flower. Allah? Uh, God is good. Good morning. Happy Valentine's. Allah! Hawa muna jua kujida mabu ya yezu. I don't, you know, she told me that, Father, I, this man wants me to get married. But I, I'm still fearing because now I don't want to, to discourage him, I want to get married. I told her that, do you want marriage or you want to please somebody? There are those of you who, out of fear and discouragement, have loaded themselves into trouble. Fear and discouragement can be your leprosy. Removing you from everybody who loves you and who has ever cherished you. Number five, the T. No, not the T. The I complex. The I complex. I. The I complex is a disease. 
P P S write that P P S a disease that comes from this complex this disease is called in proper sad english pathological preoccupation with the self pathological preoccupation with the self it is a disease that emanates from the eye complex the eye complex is where i am the only important person the others are sub human beings to the extent i have no respect for any other man i have no respect for any other woman it is only i who lives the eye complex can be your leprosy number 6 addiction addiction i have been doing addiction counseling for the longest i can remember in 2014 no 2015 a young one was brought in my office by the father and the dad and the mom by then he was in college so this young boy came eh? and the when they arrived when you deal with a busy office of course you enter through the the schedules that is that is given by the office but when they arrived the dad asked the secretary please i want to see father urgently so i told i uh, the secretary told him, told him that but you are number 5 please let me see father now 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 So uh, the secretary allowed him to come in. I don't know, father I'm sorry for interrupting you. I know we are number 5. Please father. Please come and see us. See us now. And don't see us in the office. See us in even outside because our son will run away. When parents make such a request, you can't turn it down. So mimi nikamwambia you are number 5. So nikaambia secretary swap. Hawa kuja namba moja. Nikatoka nje. So what do you want? I want us to go and see, please go and see us, see us outside. So where my office was, there was a, an open ground. So you got out of the office, went to the open ground. And there I am. The young man is here, by then he was second year university. The dad is here and the mother is here and I am here. And then they started. We started our story. And somehow me and the boy clicked kaanza kuogea but i think the demons that were in this boy's life were just so vicious when the three of us are there plus jesus and the guardian angels the boy bolted out of that place in a speed i have never understood in a flash of a second we were only the three of us there the only thing we had with us was dust the boy had left us so the man told me father thank you for allowing to see us i wanted you to see our son when we are holding him but we wanted him also to have some freedom i don't know what else we can do i told him that let's continue uh, encouraging him we continue seeing him and i whatever whatever time he is now ready please bring him i'll see him whatever time whatever day even if he is ready to see me at 1 am I, i even today i have those appointments if somebody wants to see me at a very odd hour i want to see for the ck at 1 am if it is the only thing that can make you get back to your tra- uh, tra- trajectory i'll see you but unfortunately the boy left and left and left and left as we speak now the guy is in the grave whatever happened happened addiction addiction because the first thing the boy told me that day father my dad hates me my mom hates me they have made me to be hated by everybody and therefore i hate everybody so i asked him you even hate me so no i don't hate you uh, next time i'll come alone they'll not bring me so everybody hates me so the guy had removed himself from everybody 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 that is what addiction does addiction keeps somebody hold in their rooms believing that everybody hates them the church hates them god hates them addiction can be your leprosy finally number 7 the enemy 
And the enemy is anything that works against your relationship with God. And the worst enemy that a person can have is himself or herself. So we may need to ask, today what is my enemy? What is my leprosy? What do I need? Jesus is calling me and you. Please get back home. I love you the way you are. Please, my brothers and sisters, let us get back to Jesus. He is calling us. He is ready. And he loves us just the way we are. Happy Valentine's. We profess our faith.